This is Module 4, Lesson 6, on the front. Today's objective was to draw rows and columns to determine the area of a rectangle given an incomplete array. Number 1. Each square represents a 1 centimeter square. Draw to find the number of rows and columns in each array. Match it to its completed array. Then fill in the blanks to make a true equation to find each array's area. Letter A. I can see on letter A that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes going across the top, which means there are 6 centimeters on the top. When I look across the side, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes on the side, meaning this is also 6 centimeters. So I need to make sure that I match this side to 6 centimeters and the bottom to 6 centimeters. So what I will do is continue to draw the lines going down. Then I will continue the lines across. Once I finish that, I also want to find on the opposite side an array that has six going across the top and six boxes going down each side. When I look, this one here looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are my matching areas. We know that this is six on the top times six centimeters on the side. Six times six is 36. So the area of those two rectangles is 36 square centimeters. Let's look at B. I can see that I need to finish connecting some lines going down and across. Once I finish connecting those lines, I can count one, two, three boxes going down giving me three centimeters and going across I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes giving me eight centimeters. So when I look across at all my other options I want to find one picture that also has three boxes going down. When I look here, one, two, three, that has three boxes going down. It also has to have eight boxes going across because we figured out that there were eight centimeter boxes going across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a match because there are not eight boxes going across the top. I see down at the bottom, there's another box that has three centimeters going down the side. Let's see if it has eight going across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It does, so there is my match. We have three centimeters measured on one side times eight centimeters measured on the second side. 3 times 8 equals 24, giving us an area of 24 square centimeters. Please continue this process for C, D, E, and F. First, filling in the rectangles, finding the dimensions, matching the rectangles, and writing a multiplication problem.